to Community Services in Northport, Florida, brought to you by WKDW 97.5 FM and KDWRadio.com. I'm your host, Pat Petersmark, and you are listening to Chat with Pat. And today, I would like to welcome my guest, Nikki Sanders. Hello, Nikki. Hello, Pat. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's my pleasure. Um, so I know that uh, you're connected also with Women United, about, and you're connected with uh, the United Way of South Sarasota County. So tell us a little bit about that. Sure, absolutely. Well, uh, first, uh, again, I am super happy to be here to help out and talk about this fabulous organization. So I am recently appointed the chair of the United Way uh, Women uh, United Leadership Council. So hooray for that. And um, I also have a dual responsibility with the organization to uh, well, basically as a membership director. So I am responsible for getting the word out about our fantastic cause and recruiting as many people as possible to give, to advocate, volunteer, and donate to the United Way and what it stands for. So what a task, and I'm excited. Uh, I, I'll say I'm excited about so hopefully people can hear the passion and want to get involved. And I'm sure a lot of people do. And I do know a lot of people that uh, do volunteer for the United Way. Nikki, how long have you been involved with this? Um, I've been involved, I got to say, since about maybe uh, November of last year when the group first started. So I was one of the the, uh, the the folks that was anxious, biting at the bits, waiting for uh, Barb Cruz, the CEO, uh, to make her decision on who she'd like to be on board. And I was just happy, to, super happy to be one of them. Oh, I'm so glad. And you do, you can tell you're very enthusiastic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> tell us a little bit about, you know, some of the programs. What, what do they really do? Oh, Wow. Such a great question. So Thank you. <laughs> one of the major, major things that um, I like to talk about when it comes to this fabulous organization is that we help people, right? So a lot of people may think, oh, well, okay, well, you just help anyone and we can just kind of walk in off the street and we can just get help, right? So uh, first, uh, that is True, but untrue. So we have this community that we call the Alice community. Um, and it's basically families who are asset limited, income constrained, imp and employed, right? Um, so that's what the Alice stands for, the A-L-I-C-E, right? So that is basically the people, the group that we serve, you know, people who are working paycheck to paycheck and are just not able to make ends meet, but they're trying. They're trying their hardest to do this, but they just simply can't. So that's where we come in, right? So I'm sure a lot of people have heard about the eviction moratorium, right? You know, um, I, I really have. And, you know, I often hear uh, because I go to a lot of the homeless to home coalition luncheons, which is yeah. where I, I've met a lot of people from the United Way. And you often hear about people that are, in fact, working, but they're just not making it. They're not able to make it. Yeah. 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 It's tough. It's tough. Um, I am not only the chair of the uh, Women United Leadership Council. Um, I am not only uh, the membership director, but I am also one of those people who faced eviction. Right. Um, uh, Ten years ago as a single mother. So when we talk about the eviction moratorium and when we talk about uh, how the United Way, uh, South Sarasota County can help these people, it is literally like a part of my DNA to get involved and help those people because I've been there. I've been there. So this eviction moratorium, it was set to expire July 31st, right? But there was an extension. So thank goodness for that. But we've been planning uh, Barb Cruz's brainchild micro events throughout our community to raise money 
for these people, these families, this Alice community that are impacted by the eviction moratorium. So we've got a lot of things going on, but I know we don't have a lot of time. So I just wanted to put that out there that that's what our foundation is right now, the eviction moratorium. That's our focus. Well, how, what exactly is the eviction moratorium? I mean, I've, I've read about it, but a lot of listeners might not be real familiar Oh, sure, 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 sure. Uh, really quickly, the eviction moratorium, it was because of COVID and, and the pandemic, um, there was a uh, sort of an enactment put in place where uh, people could not be put out of their homes uh, because they may have lost their job due to COVID-19 and, and the pandemic or, you know, things like that, like where uh, it's not their fault right, that they have fallen behind in their house payments. Like, it's just not their fault. So the eviction moratorium sort of basically put a stop to uh, landlords and things saying, hey, uh, you cannot uh, put these people out during this time while this moratorium is in place. So it's basically sort of a Stand still, leave these folks alone. Uh, they cannot be put out during this time. So our concern is once this moratorium is lifted, um, what's going to happen to all of these families in our community that uh, will be displaced? Where are they going to go? What's going to happen? So that's where the United Way South Sarasota County and Women United have come together with a bunch of fabulous women. Every last one of them are fabulous. And uh, we're raising money to help these families. We've also partnered with Gulf Coast Legal, uh, a fabulous uh, legal team who's also going to assist people. So we're going to come through with money and resources and things like that. And Gulf Coast Legal is going to help us on the legal end with uh, when the tenants and things have to go to court. So now, how are you? How are you, you? How are you raising money for this? What are some of the things you're doing? Oh, Pat, I just love you for those questions. <laughs> <laughs> so great question. Uh, some of the things that we're doing, uh, one one thing in particular amongst all the other things that we're doing is we're holding what's called micro events. Right. So this is an idea that our CEO Barb Cruz came up with, where you invite. 20, 25 people to wine taste, right? Oh, um, I like to, that. Right, right. We just had a micro event where uh, three of our United Way uh, uh, members uh, put together a whiskey tasting. And it literally raised, like the goal is $1,000. It raised triple that amount at a whiskey Wow. Tasting. Right. Right. And it's just just a small group of people who are willing to be selfless and put themselves aside for the benefit for the benefit of others who are in less uh, fortunate situations. So we had a whiskey tasting. We had butterflies. Uh, another one of our members. Uh, Whitney Settler, who is like a yoga enthusiast and ha is the owner of Coco Yoga Cafe, she actually put together a butterfly event with yoga and things like that. That did exceptionally well. Um, we had murder mysteries where we raised money. And um, I also threw a comedy show <laughs> at the Charlotte Players. Um, that did really well. I re I reached my goal and some actually doubled the goal uh, where we just came for a night and just laughed and we ate and we had three local comedians that just knocked our socks off. So things like that, like we're getting creative with opportunities uh, to raise money. We also have another event coming up called a Wedding Rewind right? Where you actually come and you relive your moments from your your wedding or your prom. You can wear a tux. You can wear a dress. You can wear, I mean, it's just going to be amazing. So we've got a lot of things brewing to raise money. I actually was on your Facebook page trying to check this out. Um, yeah. and I, and I did see that about the ready, the wedding rewrite. And I believe it's September 18th. Yes. Yes, and it's you. from from six to eleven p.m. and it's yes. at the Hampton Inn right here in uh, Northport. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Our North 
our uh, young ladies that are throwing this event are also part of the Northport Chamber and Northport Young Professionals. So you always need that younger aspect to kind of breathe some life and some energy. Into some exactly. So, yes. Yes. <laughs> so we're so excited to have it and look forward to going to it. So if anybody can make it, Pat, if you can come through, come on through in your best attire. We promise you'll have a good time. Yeah, how can you get tickets for uh, the Wedding Rewind and some of the other events that you have? How do people, how do they actually hear about it? Oh, sure. Absolutely. Well, we're on social media, of course, but visit the website. It's www.uwssc.org. And, you know, our producer, uh, Rick Johnstone, he does uh, a lot of the PSAs for the radio station, WKDW. So anytime, oh. like, uh, and I, when I saw this about the wedding reception, I thought, wow, that would be a good PSA. So always feel free to mail that information uh, to the station, to Rick or to me, and I can get it to him. Oh, that'd be great. Thank you. We'd love that. Because I noticed a lot of the things I saw on there, I thought, well, I never heard of that. So it's good to, <laughs> you know, it's good to know. <laughs> Indeed. And we love that. We love that you just said that because um, a lot of people don't know, right? So we're doing everything we can with our members um, and our leadership council team to get the word out and let people know, you know, we're also practicing um a COVID uh, uh, protocols at, at our event. So, you know, masks are encouraged um, and, and things like that. So we want to make it safe for everyone. We want to make it fun for everyone. And we want everyone to just come and have a good time for a good cause. And then I think people enjoy that, especially right now. We all like to get out and try to have a good time when we can and still being, you know, pretty careful. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. We we definitely want to keep people safe and be careful as well. Now, I also saw something out there and it said uh, United for Good with Publix Associates. It's yes. Yeah. <laughs> I went through this and I'm thinking, OK, I'm going to ask because I'm not sure what this is. Well, did we have Gallagher out there? Did you see Gallagher, our giraffe? That's, friend? Yes, that's a giraffe. I assume yes. it's a toy. <laughs> yes. Yes. We love Gallagher. He is our mascot to stars. So what we're doing, Gallagher goes different places and Gallagher takes pictures with some of our favorite supporters and uh, a lot of our sponsors just to get the word out that he's busy, right? So if Gallagher can be busy, so can we, right? So That's it's right. just literally us getting out there, having Gallagher show up at places and do his thing. He enjoys meeting people and especially publics. We love Publix. Gallagher gets all kinds of treats and love and pets and pictures. So um, that's what we're doing at Publix, uh, where Publix supports us so much in what we do. And we just love to give back and go and uh, uh, have fun with the employees and the management team at Publix. We just try to get out there and do a lot. So that's what you were seeing. <laughs> all right. Now, is this all the Publix or is this one in particular you're working with? Um, it's actually one in particular that we work with off of 41, um, off of Route 31, but there's Publix, I'm sure, um, in different areas, like there's a Northport one, um, there's a, a Port Charlotte, like we can just go to any, uh, but I think our main, our, our nucleus and our biggest supporter is the uh, Publix on 41. The Publix is very generous to all nonprofits. I know uh, with our backpack angels here, uh, they've often helped us out with bags and, and pretty much anything we've asked for. Yeah, they're amazing. They're amazing. They they really are. A lot of places are, and it's nice to know there's places that you can go to for help like that. Uh, Nikki, I know yeah. that you're a membership chairman, so uh, what does that mean? What do you, what do, you do? Oh. <laughs> Another good question. <laughs> Basically, what I do is, um, and what a lot of the other women do uh, in this group is, I am a walking, 
talking, breathing head for the United Way, right? Um, what I do is I make sure that people know uh, that we're not just a bunch of, you know, uh, women who are, you know, super smart or uh, super rich women who uh, are just part of this affinity group. Like, part of my job is to make sure that people know that we are down to earth, uh, we come from every different walk of life. Uh, we represent every salary range, every income. Uh, we are just a microcosm of amazing women who all have one one cause, which is one major uh, uh, focus, which is to give back, right? So what I basically do is uh, the United Way and the, the Women United uh, Leadership Council uh, it's already a pretty attractive group. I mean, when when you think about what the cause is, but my job is to spread the word, get people interested in giving, and have people join us for what we're doing. Because, of course, the more the merrier. Exactly. That's how you get the word out. Um, I Do you go to the Homeless to Home Coalition luncheons? Oh, I don't, but I'm quite sure Barb um, has has attended, but I'd love to. You should, I was just going to say, um, because I go every month, I, I'm the publicist for the uh, Northport Coalition Homeless Needy Children, the Backpack Angels. And oh. the next one, I mean, I can put you in contact with the woman in charge of this if you're interested. Um, the Lord. next one I know is, um, I'm hoping I got the date right. It's the third Tuesday of the month, which I believe is September 21st. And it's okay. 1130 at the Loveland Center, uh, which is unusual. Oh. Um, it's underwritten by a couple of benefactors and normally it's either at Pl Plantation or here in Creek and that, but uh, this month we want to support the Loveland Center, so everybody's going. And it is for people uh, just exactly what you said. We're all like-minded and trying to help yeah. each other in many, many different causes. So I think you would be great. And they do pass the mic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so this is the chance. You know, that's why I go. I mean, when I stand up, everybody goes, "Oh wow, <laughs> it's backpacking." <laughs> um, this is how you know you get the word out there and let people yeah. know. Um, you know, email me or let me know if you're interested, and, and oh, I can uh, I can put you on the list, and uh, I can even uh, you can sit with me, and we can introduce you to a few people. Sounds amazing. Any opportunity to spread the word, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. And you wind up meeting a lot of people that are there for the same thing. Um, yeah. Nikki, what are uh, like future plans that you might have? Uh, for uh, the United Way, we are um, right now, our major focus right now is to raise as much as we can. Uh, but the future uh, that we envision for a Women United, United Way, South Sarasota County is to recruit um, as many people as we can that have the same goals in mind as we do, uh, and also to get people to see the benefit uh, of helping the community. Um, and we also have plenty more, plenty more micro events coming down the line. One in particular that a little birdie told me is we're <laughs> going to have a salsa dancing Ooh. learning micro event. Yes. So I'm stoked about that. So, but that hasn't been announced yet. So I'm giving you guys a little in for now. So um, we're really looking forward to that. So future plans is to just continue to grow, continue to raise money, continue to raise awareness and just get people moving and involved and help as many as we can. That sounds good. And how can people donate? How can they get in touch with you? How can they follow you? Oh, sure. Absolutely. Well, again, um, all of our um, uh, social media handles are actually on our website. So if people can go to uh, UnitedWaySouthSarasotaCounty.org, that's U-W-S-S-C dot org, um, all the information is there. How to get in touch with me is there. How to get in touch with Barb Cruz is there. Aaron Lilly. Um, everything is there. All of our platforms, what we do, how to help, link 
drinks, to donate. I mean, we're accepting donations as low as $5 for people that want to give and as high as you'd like, you know, of course. So um, all that information is on our site so people can visit uh, and people can reach out to me or whoever they like if they want to get involved. And you're also, you're on Facebook, which uh, I noticed that's a big thing with especially older people. Uh, when I start talking about our website or something, people, first thing they'll say is, are you on Facebook? So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. social media is like the, it's almost like your doorfront. It's, it's, it's almost like your storefront. I mean, like where you literally, when you hear about something, you go right to social media and you look it up. Right. That's it. That's exactly right. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yes. And I, I'm thank you. Thank God for my grandkids because I've gotten much better at it than I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it amazing how they can work <laughs> the social media in and out with like no problem? It's well, I, I find um, I can go to my children, but they don't have the patience. You know, they just assume I should know this. But if you go to one of the grandkids, they they realize that they're talking to a child and they go step <laughs> by step by step. <laughs> yeah, they're the best little teachers, aren't they? Oh, yeah. I think, you know, that just works out perfectly for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so are, are there any other, you know, like maybe something you're hoping uh, the United Way can do? And what areas are you in? Pat? Yeah, yes, Rick. We have about a minute and a half to go, so. Okay, well, quickly, just give us the website again, Nikki. Sure. It's www.uwssc.org. And we're happy to have donations and we're happy to have people join us as we help other people in the Alice community. Well, thank you so much, Nikki Saunders, for being my guest today. And thank you for listening to Community Services in Northport, Florida, and listening to the Chat with Pat, which is on every Tuesday at 105 and every Thursday at 1105. And thank you, Rick Johnstone, for being my producer and my editor. Bye for now.